I have been a technology reporter uh, first at the Wall Street Journal for eight years, and I just kept hearing about it from um, people and attendees and companies that came here. And I think there was a sense that out in the Bay Area, there's a lot of the same people going to the same conferences, and that there was a sort of diversity of topics and people here. So that really intrigued me. I just launched a new subscription technology news publication called The Information. And uh, we're aspiring, aspiring to be an economist for the technology industry. So we'll leave the day-to-day -day headlines and news to many other publications out there that cover them. But we think there's a need for uh, more in-depth, deeper content that really resonates with people who work in the technology industry or in other areas of business that need to know what's going on in the industry. Uh, so we focus on a few in-depth stories a day. Uh, we launched in December, so it's it's early days, but uh, we live at theinformation.com, and uh, we're delighted with the growth so far. We have a team of reporters out in San Francisco, um, from alums from the Wall Street Journal and Fortune and other great business publications. I love technology reporting, and I felt that so much of it out there was all covering the same stuff, and that it was all designed to generate a lot of traffic, but not necessarily a lot of business value. And so I saw a shift in the industry towards covering topics that generated a lot of traffic and tr reporters and media outlets trying to differentiate their stories based on sort of sensationalizing them to try to get an edge. Uh, and I love just sort of reporting, picking up the phone, learning things, um, really trying to get to the bottom. And I think there's a demand for it. I mean, technology is really, everyone knows that it's transforming every area of business and I think uh, there's an opportunity right now to start to take advantage of that and, and really also build a different business model. I mean, we're a subscription publication because we think that aligns our mission to deliver these stories with our business. You know, if people will pay for something, we, we want to write things that people will pay for and sort of leave the stuff that grabs traffic, you know, to others. So. It, it feels like a mini renaissance in the media business right now. It's very exciting. It seems odd, but you know, it's. I think it's more odd. The the free stuff is actually more of an aberration. People have paid for media and news for a very long period of time, so we're just kind of old school. I think our typical user works in technology um, or finance, so they might be venture capitalists, entrepreneurs. Um, CEOs of big public tech companies, product managers of big tech companies. Um, our base is mostly in the U.S. now, although we certainly have, uh, you know, a good chunk that's all around the world. Because I and I think it's very exciting to explore how we can expand that. Um, and I think tech and finance are the the stalwarts for now. But over time, we think it doesn't matter if you're in the auto industry or the retail industry or or in the media business, uh, you can get ahead by knowing what's going on in tech you know, before others do at a high and deep level. You know, we really focused on the stories that we launched with because for us to um, deliver on this proposition, we, our stories have to be different. So we worked very hard at um, stories that got inside Apple and the system of how they promote apps and who decides what. Uh, we also had a big story about Andy Rubin at Google and his robots. So we focused on the story and then getting those stories out through social media and talking about those stories on television. Um, we also have sort of reached out to just people we know who we think are interested, but so far it, it's been fairly organic. And I think you know there are lots of opportunities down the line, including corporate subscriptions and working more closely with, with partners and companies, but for us right now, it, it really focuses on the story and if that's something when it lands in someone's inbox is going to be worth reading or not.